Hi there, welcome to one in a million. In this video we are going to learn how to date. Four must do things on a date. And check our channel to get more dating and relationship tutorials. Please subscribe our channel to get more tutorials. It can be difficult to strike a good balance when dating. How do you appear interested without coming off as desperate or needy? How do you get to know someone without being nosy or rude? And how do you figure out how a person feels about you, or tell them how you feel about them, without either of you feeling uncomfortable? Dating is a tricky business, but here are four things to do on a date that'll keep you successful on date. Define your expectations. Why are you dating? What are you looking for? Do you want a lifetime commitment, or do you want to live completely in the moment? Whether or not you're seeking a commitment can make a difference in how you approach dating. Decide how you want to date. In today's modern world, it's not enough to know that you want to date. You have to know how you want to date. Because there are several different ways of going about it, each with their pros and cons. Remember that you don't have to stick to any one style. Get yourself looking your best. Maybe you tell yourself that looks don't matter when it comes to love. This is true, but only for love, starting out does not count as love. While lasting affection and emotional exchange, the backbone of relationships, has nothing to do with looks or grooming, the initial attraction you feel for another person often does. Be outcome independent. In dating, you're going to deal with rejection. In fact, if you're not getting rejected at some point, you're probably not putting yourself out there enough. If you're outcome independent, meaning you don't care whether you're welcomed or rejected by a potential date, that rejection isn't going to sting. Put yourself out there. You don't have to hit the bars or the clubs to meet new people, although you can if that's something you enjoy doing anyway. Pursue interests and activities that mean a lot to you. Learn the art of small talk. A lot of people who swear they hate dating probably only hate small talk. And that's okay, because small talk is extremely hard. You usually know nothing about the person, so you have to search for common ground. Start with small, and once you find some common ground, you can start talking bigger and deeper. Don't be afraid to poke fun of yourself. You're nervous. Suddenly, you trip over your words and say something you think is utterly stupid. There's no harm. In fact, some people think it's cute if their date is a little nervous. They'll laugh with you, and this will break the ice between both of you. It will even get you to loosen up and stop being nervous. Be selective. Don't just date anyone who shows an inkling of interest in you. Despite what everyone says about not judging a book by its cover, people who are more discriminating tend to be seen as more desirable, probably because having standards shows that you value yourself and aren't going for a date with whoever crosses your path. Ask for a date. If you think your first few minutes of interaction have gone well, go out there and say it. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. Don't beat around the bush. As difficult as it may be, the other person appreciates the honesty. Make a good first impression. You want this person to enjoy the date, but you also want them to enjoy you as an individual. Be considerate and charming without looking or acting like someone you're definitely not. Let them discover who you are while trying to maintain a little bit of mystery. Choose a date with some excitement in it. Whether it's a rollercoaster ride or a monster truck show, a little excitement does a lot for a first date. Not only is there a distraction that you both can use if the conversation sputters out, which is natural, but there's also chemistry at work. Be interested and interesting. Don't exaggerate or boast about your credentials, successes, etc. Just tell them what you really enjoy in life, what gets you excited, and what you want to leap out of bed to pursue. Ask them what they really love in life, and what gets them excited. Feel the change in energy during this conversation and revel in it. Don't make the first date too long. Sometimes, 
When a date is going really well, your impulse is to keep it going at whatever cost. This is often the wrong approach. End a date after one or two hours, however well it's going. Avoid being smothering or obsessive. Never call, email or text message more than once a day unless they reply. Continue with other activities and let them know you've got a life beyond dating. Be honest. If you are not ready to be in a committed relationship, let them know straight away so that you do not give them false hope. If you're just not interested in a relationship with them anymore, tell them so. Don't lead them on. Explain that you just don't see it going anywhere. Show an emotional maturity. However old you are, punch above your weight. If you just want a casual hookup out of dating, be mature enough to say so from the beginning. Most likely, however, you want something a little more. Show whomever you've started dating that you care about things like honesty, communication, and respect. These things go a long way in attracting the other person to you. Don't try too hard and allow spontaneity. Learn to relax and be original. If this relationship goes somewhere, leading to something deeper and more serious, your originality will hold great memories for the other half. We all appreciate the simple sweet gestures or memories which are likely to bring warmth or a smile to our faces. Know what's reasonable. There are a lot of unwritten rules in dating. Knowing what they are and why they're there will help you avoid some embarrassing situations. If you like this video please don't forget to give us a like and also subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.